guys, so today is the 26th and yesterday was Christmas! but um, there's a good amount so let's get started so the first book i got from my mother and it is called nothing matters finding significance by dr jean bailey and my mother actually works with this um author he independently published this book and another book when his wife passed away of cancer so this is the second book that he has published and it's basically you know nothing matters like it's trying to um, find significance in a world where you know it doesn't matter and he's a very spiritual person so I think I'm going to enjoy this book and I'm really glad that she got it for me and he also signed the first page for me which is really nice and I can't wait to read it so I can talk with him about his self-publishing journey and so I can get advice on whether or not I should self-publish once I finish my book. So glad I got this book and I cannot wait to pick it up. It's a really short read so I know I can get through it soon and hopefully get a chance to talk to him in person. So thanks mom. <laughs> the next book I got was from my little sister Courtney and she got me Why Not Me by Mindy Kaling. And I love the Mindy Project on Hulu. That's like one of my favorite TV shows. Well, at least the first few seasons. This recent season hasn't been really that good. But I love Mindy as a person. I think she's a really empowering female um, role model. So I'm really glad I got this book and I cannot wait to read it. It'll probably be the first book that I get to because it is pretty short. I think it's only like 200, maybe 300 pages. Yeah, it's only like 230, 230 pages. And I find that um, like these kind of books like autobiographies go really quickly. So I'm super excited to have this book. And this is the second book that she's written. So um, I don't think you have to read them in any like chronological order. So yeah, but I'm really glad she got me this book. She knows how much I love Mindy. So thanks, Court. I also got four books from my older sister, Nadia, and I am so happy. Like, I'm so happy with these choices that she got me. Like, it just proves that she knows my taste really well. So, the first book that she got me was Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. And I have been wanting this book for such a long time. I've heard such good things about it. I mean, it circulated through BookTube a while ago. And I just never thought about buying it. You know, I wanted to finish all the other books that I had. So, I'm really glad that I have an excuse to finally get this book and read it. And I'm so excited. Sounds really interesting. This seems like a really super cool nerdy book and I I love it. I really want to get to this one now but I'm currently reading some other stuff. She also got me another gamey kind of book and that is The Last Wish by Andreas Sapkowski. I hope I'm saying that right. This book sounds really interesting. It's about a witcher named Rivia who hunts down uh, mythical characters and you know it's about realizing that hunting these creatures can be a little deceiving because what looks scary might actually be something that isn't and what looks nice and pretty might actually be something that's scary. So this seems really cool. I think there is a game based on these books called The Witcher Game. I think it says on the back. Yes, it is a video game called The Witcher. So I've never heard of the video game, so if I do enjoy the books, I will definitely check out the game. So yeah, this sounds like a really good book. And I think this is the first book in the trilogy, I believe. I think there's three books to it. And she also got me another book that is in that same series called Swords of Destiny. And I think this book is not technically a part of the series. It's actually like a collection of sort of stories that go with the world in the series, so I'm not sure if I should read this book and then read the first book or what. But I think in the back it kind of has all the books, so I don't know. Let me see if I can put this in focus. In the back it has all the books, so I don't know if it goes in that order. So this would technically be second, because yeah, 
this is the first one and then this is this one so i'm guessing it's second but um yeah so this is another collection so i'm really happy i had this too and the last book that my sister got me was uprooted by naomi novak and i know i already have a copy of this book and i've talked about it in some of my videos before but i'm really happy that she got me this book because like i said she knows me like I obviously picked this book for my own that I thought I would like it and I ended up not enjoying it too much but I definitely do plan on returning to it later. So and I'm glad I have this copy as well because now that I'm looking at it in person it's a pretty pretty cover. I like the other cover better the UK version but this one is really pretty too so and yeah so I definitely will be getting to this one probably sooner than I plan to just because now I want to see maybe I will like this book and maybe I just wasn't reading it at the right time you know sometimes you need to put a book away and then read it later when you're at a different state of mind or something so i will definitely be checking this book out later and i'm really glad that my sister got it for me because it just means that she knows me so well so thanks nadia i really appreciate all the books you got me for christmas and the last book i technically didn't get as a christmas present but i did win it in a giveaway and i'm super excited about that because this is the first art copy that i've ever won before and the first art copy that i've actually owned and that is the return of the witch by paula braxton and i'm super excited to read this book but i realized that it's actually um i think the second book in a series called the witch's daughter so i have to i plan on going to get that book soon so i can read it and then read this one and give you guys a review for it because i'm really excited it sounds like a really interesting book i don't know too much about it and i don't want to read too much into it because this is the second book so and i'm super excited that i actually won a book in a giveaway first time winning anything so i think this one is going to be released yes in march 2016 so I will definitely be doing a review before then to let you know how I like this book. So those are all the books that I got for Christmas and I hope you guys got a lot of great reading material for Christmas too. Let me know what you got for Christmas this year or if you know any of these books or which ones I should read first. I'd really love your help kind of deciding which ones I should get to. So yeah, um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. So the book that I chose for the TV series is actually a standalone book, but it's called Transmission by Hari Kanzuru. And this